This is Armed Forces Radio reporting from London. Today, Supreme Allied Headquarters reported American combat troops and aircraft have completely routed the attacking German army at the Ardennes front. executed by their German captors. Investigating officers at the nightmare scene say the massacre happened at a small crossroads near the Belgian town of Malmedy. General Eisenhower has vowed that upon war's end, all German officers and soldiers responsible for this unspeakable act will be vigorously tried for war crimes and swiftly punished. This is Armed Forces Radio, London. It's just a nice thing, huh? Lemon powder. Hmm. My Frau. Do you speak Deutsch? Yeah. Hmm. Bitte. Yeah. Danke. You must be living right deep.
Out! Raus! Jetzt! No, don't shoot! Night shooting! Night shooting! <laughs> Surrender. What are you waiting for? Shut up! Give me the gun! Hey! Hey! Why didn't you take that shot? Do you know what you just did? What happened to He had a crowd in his sights and he froze. <laughs> He's one of ours. Yeah. Oh, am I glad to see you fellas? Gould, I've been hit. Oh. The Sam Hill happened back there. I'm Stephen Gould. This is Sheryl Kendrick, 285th. Go ahead, Anderson. Hey, you get her 101st. Right, Kendrick, hold still. Uh, no, it's just a graze. I can fix you up right here. We gotta get out of here and find shelter before it turns dark. Due respect, Sarge, but I didn't come to the war to hide out. Nobody asked you, Kendrick. Look, we're behind enemy lines. In a couple of days, the bombers are gonna drive these bastards back to Berlin. But for now, they're shooting prisoners, and we got one crowd rifle with them. What? Four rounds left in it. Hell, I just want to shoot me some more crowds. We gotta get out of here. Deacon, you gotta go point. This way. Move it. any weapons. An ambulance. And no doubt a damn ambulance. Dick. Dick. Why don't you uh, head up the hill and keep watch? I'm gonna see if we can find some stuff we can use and then we'll get out of here. Right?
get robbed of the dead. They've already been robbed. Just grab whatever we can use. Checking stuff out. Go on. Get. Damn. What? I found some key rations. And? Some dummy took all the cigarettes out. How long has Deacon been gone? Almost an hour. It's a nice watch, ghoul. He's not gonna miss it, trust me. If I catch a bullet, you gonna take my personals too? You know of anything I want, Ken. So maybe your flashlight. Funny. Hey, Sarge, what's the deal with Deacon? Seems a little jump. Deacon's fine, he's just a little on edge. Seems like a nice enough fell and all. It's just it's shell shocked. Seen it a million times. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it was just a little frightening. We only have one weapon and he's holding it. Yeah, we do have one weapon. How do we get that weapon, Gould? Deke has saved my ass more times than I care to think about. He's fine. What'd you find, Deke? Sweet home. Yeah, this will work to hole up in for a couple of days. Deke, I want you on first watch. Let's see if we can get a fire going in this thing. Gould, you got any matches? No. I found a latrine. Like I said, home sweet home. Gunderson, what's the deal with you and Deacon? You guys separated at birth? Cousins? Deacon's the squarest guy I know. He's from some little backwards town in Arizona. Doesn't drink. Doesn't smoke. He doesn't even like coffee. That's why they call him the Deacon. My boy's back in the neighborhood. Knew that my best buddy was a good church boy like him. They laughed their butts off. <laughs> Tell you something else about Deacon. It's the best shot I've ever seen. Where you from, Sarge? Chicago. South side. Is that right? How about you? Louisiana. Small town. Really small. 
How about you, Gold? Where are you from? New York. What part of New York? Brooklyn. Heights. I like Brooklyn. Good jazz clubs. Yeah, you want good jazz, you gotta go to the village. And you want great jazz, you go to Nons. That's a good place. Jemand zu Hause? <lacht> Komm rein. Du Christian, es ist saukalt hier. Mach mal, ein, mach mal ein Feuer hier in diesem Ofen. Komm, komm. Nicht Mutters Küche. Ja, bisschen lauter. Ja, ich kann nicht hören. Ja, ja jetzt geht's. War das einer von unseren Nachtfliegern? Ja, es ist gerade über uns rüber geflogen. Ja, es ist abgestürzt, gerade bei uns. Ja, wir gehen sofort raus. Leute, wir gehen sofort raus. Wir gehen. I don't know. Deke, what'd you get? I couldn't hear him very good. Something about the Muse River and that plane crashing. Shh. Stand back! I think he's a crowd. Not a step closer! Shoot him. I've got a gun! He's a Brit. Kendrick, go help him down. Stand back! Go. No. All right, I just calm down. No. Here we go. Get back! Whoa! Take it easy. Drop it! Don't drop it! Drop it! Keep it down! We're Americans. Prove it. What? Who's the third president of the United States? Just put the gun down. Thomas Jefferson. Who's the fourth? Madison. What's with this guy? What's the capital of Vermont? Hartford. I... Sarge! Give me a break. Nobody knows that. You tell me! Haven't the foggiest. Sorry, boys. Where's your command post? It used to be that way. Sorry for the trouble. Thank you. About how far back? About 10 to 15 miles. Soldier, who are you? Flight Sergeant Oberon Winley, Royal Air Force. Oberon. 
Winley. Look, I'm in possession of some crucial intelligence. I need to get to the nearest command center. But you must have smashed your head in on a tree coming down or something. Or well, a bloody field phone, at least. There are no field phones, and you will keep it down. Let me shoot him now, Sarge. Shut up. Winley, where do you think you're going? I was intended to fly back to Manai. Really? But we've had a bit of bad luck around here. A Panzer Division went on a spoiling expedition, and we are now behind enemy lines. This isn't some little spoiling expedition. This is a major German offensive. After the Germans attacked, we were ordered to fly an emergency photo recon mission to collect electronic intelligence. We were flying under some, some cloud cover and snapped some rather revealing photos. But by the time we realized what we had, a German fighter had shot us down. So you need to get to intelligence? Yes. And it's damn critical that I get there as soon as possible. They've punched through all along here, right where we're thinnest. Why would they do that? If they punch through here, they're exposing their flank. That's right. Unless, of course, they hurry and make it to the Meuse River and cross over. I don't get it. Well, if they cross the Meuse, then they can turn and take Liege. I went through there on my way in. It's kind of one of the biggest ammo dumps I've ever seen there. It's one of the largest in Europe. And if the crowds take Liege, they take the ammo dump. Or we have to destroy it. Either way, it's a straight shot for them to take back Antwerp. What is this? This ain't German. Thank you. I have got to get these to there before the Germans cross the Meuse River. That's over 20 miles. As a crow flies, yes. Thank you. And we're supposed to outrun an entire Panzer division on foot. You know, we could follow this rail line along here and then cut up through here and shortcut them. Could save a lot of troops. Where'd you learn to speak German? What? You're German. Where'd you pick it up? Oh, in Berlin. What were you doing there? You going to school or something? No, I was a missionary. That must have been neat. Hanging out with a bunch of Krauts, talking about God. How was laid off? I loved it. It was the best time of my life. Hey, Deke. Deke. You want to see a good magic trick? I need to smoke. Uh -huh. So, Willie, where'd you say you were from exactly? What is it, Kendrick? 
You want one of my fags, is that what it is? Um, it's... Hmm. Forget I asked. No problem. How long has it been since you and Deacon have slept? Me, two days. Him, three or four. The longer he goes without sleep, the more he's gonna lose it. Thank you. What is he doing? He's making sure all's clear. Okay, let's go. Move it. All right, look. We've got about 12 miles. We've got to stop. We've got to get some shut eye. All right. We're going to get moving in an hour. I'm gonna take first watch. No, I got it, Sarge. No, you don't. You're gonna get down there and get some sleep. All right? Go, move it. Careful. Okay. Hey, Kendrick. That was uh, nice work. Really. Thanks, Sarge. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for protecting us from the birdies. Very decent of you. the only one. What about you? You sure you don't want some coffee? Are you sure you don't want some hot lemonade? I should be home right now. Should be home playing with my nephews. Flirting with the girl at my dad's door. What's her name? Huh. Forgot her name. You, you should be doing whatever you do. Should be helping my wife get ready for the baby. You didn't tell me you were having a baby. I think I got the letter on Thursday. She says she knows it's gonna be a girl. Huh. She might be due pretty soon then. Yeah, January 18th. It's my birthday. 
I know. Thursday. That was the day we had Esendor. You'll be all right, Deke. We just gotta get women and men high. Win the war and go home. Nobody has any smoke, especially not him. around the campfire. I mean, we've all got them. I'm sure Kendrick here has 10 or 20. Yeah, I don't, I don't have one of those. Rubbish. Look, even if I did, why would I tell you? You don't have to tell me, of course. It's, it's just we're on this perilous mission together, and I found that when men can share anything with each other, anything, well, it creates a certain esprit de corps, you follow? Forget it. Right, you. You can play as you want. I never kissed my wife till the day we were married. All right, Deacon. You see, I feel close already. When I was 15, I showed up at school with a shiner and a bloody lip. I told the guys I got it playing stickball. I actually got it because I got beat up by Alice Poliski. Alice Poliski. All right, all right, I got one. One time when I was uh, in high school, I was working on my dad's truck, and I had one of them vacuum tubes. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, and I figured out that if I held it just so and sucked, I could give myself hickeys. So I had them all over my neck, and I, I told my buddies that. Uh, I had a girl from out of town, <laughs> but truth be known, I never kissed a girl before ever. I'm sorry. What's so funny? I'm sorry, everyone. It's just, well, hickeys, huh? Guess we found a new nickname for Kendrick. Let's go. We're making good time, but we gotta keep moving. So, Wendy, what's your secret, huh? Grief, you think I'd tell you chaps? I've just barely met you. Is all Brits as charming as Willie? I don't know. Something for him. He needs a warm place to 
asleep. Then when we don't hear they have that, do we go? What can you do for him here? Deacon! Deacon! Deacon, listen to me. Do not get us killed. Look at me. Look at me. Open your eyes. Look at me. Relax. Breathe. I'm gonna take my hand away from your mouth. Do not scream. Thursday, we ran into some crowds in a little town on the Elsenborn Ridge. They were pulling out, but this one little bastard was holed up inside a church. I sent Deacon to take him out. It was dark in there. Somebody took a shot at him. This man threw in a grenade, sprayed the room. Went up and took the guy out. In the room, Two women and six kids. It was a mess. When it was over, Dick just flipped out. Our CEO gave me a jeep to have him checked out at St. Viv. We got captured about an hour before you guys ran into the Melody. You don't mention this to him. Do you understand me, Ghoul? All right, what do we do? We keep him talking. We don't let him go off by himself. And please put that rifle in somebody else's hands. Is that some kind of code? That's the way I write. I hope somebody can translate that. Of course. I can. Are you trying to tell me you're the only person that knows what that says? That more or less sums it up. So, us not letting you die would be pretty important? Yes. Great. Kendrick. You got a watch. Why not give me your gun? I'm gonna scout a bit. I'll be right back. That is sick. Yes, I'm sure you prefer to use your fingers. Well, that's much better, Hickey. Very distinguished. That's better than carrying it around in your pocket all day. Good reading. Do you believe in a life after this one? Not a chance in hell. When we first got here, I was working on this kid. He was shot up pretty bad. I kept saying, please God. Please God, over and over. Like it meant something. He was so sincere about it. 
I thought it might work. And two minutes later, he was dead. There wasn't a thing I could do about it. And I looked into his eyes. There's nothing there. Nothing. That's when I realized that this is it. It's funny. What could possibly be funny about that? No, I don't mean funny, funny. It's, it's just that, uh, We were just outside uh, St. Mary Glees and we were getting pounded pretty hard. And I was holding this, this kid on my lap and he was shot up pretty good. And I remember him praying and I was praying too. And all of a sudden he he was gone. And that was, that was it really. That was the first time that I, that I really watched somebody die. But right then I knew that he was, he was in a better place than that. How convenient for you. <laughs> convenient. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking about what you said. Funny, huh? Where are you from? Arizona. I know Arizona. Where in Arizona? Snowflake. Snowflake. I've never heard of it. What do you do in Snowflake for fun? Hunting? Oh. What do you hunt? Whatever's in season. So you like to shoot things? Forget I asked. So why do you like the crowd so much? Because I know them. I know that most of them are just like you and me. They just wear a different uniform. So Adolf Hitler is a pretty nice fella? Once you get to know him, it's just a different uniform? That's not what I said. And those guys at Malmody, they're just like us. So they got different helmets on? If it makes it easier for you to hate them, then go right ahead. You know what? If it weren't for them, I'd be finishing up med school and putting a cast on Billy's leg because he broke it on his bicycle. But instead, I'm taking lead out of his 17-year-old brother's gut because he wanted to serve his country and he lied about his age. And now he's spitting up blood, lying in the dirt, and asking God to come and save him. It's more than a different uniform. by yet. They must be stalled somewhere in here. Yeah. This weather can't be helping them much. How far is it to Manai? About 15 kilometers. All right. This weather keeps up, we should be able to beat them. Get there by dark. All right, let's move out. Come on.
Kendrick, can you uh, hear me? Uh, we can't, can't do this here. Uh, we gotta get out of this. If we stop now, there's no way we're going to make it in time. <laughs> if we can't move, they can't move. And we can't move. Sit down, you gotta keep moving. Get off. Keep moving. I know. I'm gonna check it out. Whitley, give me your gun. I'll go with you. I gotta be. The Sarge, I can walk. Okay, I'm not gonna hurt you, okay? I'm American. Put the knife down. Put it down. I don't Marie want to. Don't give it to me. It's your choice. Put it down. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. It's okay. It's okay. Look, I'm putting the gun down. Okay. Put the knife down. So I'm an American. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Américain. Quel mal. Américain. It's okay, Phyllis. It's okay. Uh, this is uh, this is Madame Theory. Uh, Catherine. 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 Uh, and this is Sophie. Dis bonjour, ma chérie. Bonjour. 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 Ils sont tous américains. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're all we're all Americans, uh, except for him. He's uh, he's British. He's from you know, England. Anglais. Soyez les bienvenus et je vais aller vous préparer quelque chose à manger. Euh, je reviens. Merci. M merci. Merci, Catherine. What did she just say? Goodbye. In France.
kann das. We did everything we could, Whitley. You certainly did. Still, here I sit all nice and comfy you are. You boys have been super, but I'm figuring I best get on with it. Look, if I start now, I can probably get there before morning. Yeah, you could try. I just don't know what your frozen dead body is going to do for anybody. You can give these to Kendrick if you want. Cheerio. Winley. Let him go. It's not our prisoner, Gold. He's gonna die out there. Yes, he is. up in the dead eye. I don't know, I just couldn't hit him. Couldn't or wouldn't? Yeah, I did not miss on purpose. That's a lie. Right, that's enough. Deacon says he just missed him, he just missed him. We got other things to worry about right now, Gould. Oh. Look what I found. I had gunshots. So I started back through the woods and I found this little bugger. Oh, Kneeling down, praying his little Jerry head off. So we shoot him right now. Shut up, Kendrick. I'm with Kendrick. Let's shoot him. With his own gun. We don't shoot prisoners, people. Yeah, but he does. Shoot him! Shut up, Kendrick! Come on, Willie. Shoot him! <laughs> Willie! Put the gun down! <laughs> you will obey my orders! Willie? 
Hvad kender du det, Jean Mille? Den der griger. Den der griger. Ich wollte mich erschießen. Ich bin Nein, sie nicht. Aber es wird gut. Dick! Lass mich nicht töten, Elder. Die, die sollen mich nicht töten, sag's ihnen. Das ist Rudolf Goetz. Von Berlin. When I was on my mission, I taught his family. Like. Die sollen mich nicht töten. Sag's nicht. Die sollen mich nicht töten. I never missed. Gun, I didn't hit him. But I never missed. Sergeant, mm. did you give my cigarettes to... Uh... Thanks. No problem. So, Winley, why did you come back? I heard gunshots. I realized I was probably going to die out there. I'm not proud of it. You made a choice. You're still alive, that's good for you. Yes, that's true. It's midnight. Go, you're up. Looks like our prison on war is having fun. My sister Schultz is still so verrückt. She's still so what did he say his name was? Adolf? And, uh, gives me the creeps. It's Rudolph. Whatever. Hey, Willie. I'll make you a deal. You pick a card. Any card. Then put it back in the deck. If I can find your card in this deck, you give me one of them smokes. What do you say? Deal. This is your card. Nope. Sorry, Hickey. This is your card. Yeah, this is this. French ladies coming. Bonjour, Patrick. Thank you. Thank you all. Alice. Ich war immer noch well.
Deacon, where is he? Where's the crop, Deacon? You let him go. You let him go! No, no, Deacon! Oh, Deacon. Oh, oh. So let's go right now! Hey! Who had watch, Gould? Who had watch? Oh, I did. I fell asleep. And Deacon didn't let anybody go. Yes, I did. What? Come on, what'd you want to do, Gundy? Take him with us? No, I wanted to shoot him, remember? What are you thinking? I made a trade. Rudy told me that the weather's pretty much shut down, all movement on either side. And that Manai is in the middle of some of the heaviest fighting right now, so we wouldn't be able to get Winley through anyway. But he also said that an unknown number of Germans are making a push toward this little town, Lannan. That's less than six kilometers away. Right. Those are our nearest boys. I think we can make it through to them. Yeah, sure. Through a fully armed crop division, we sneak through. I like it. I don't love it. I like it. And with a full arsenal of two pistols and a bolt action. Kendrick, you check the back of that rig? It's not much, but we gotta make it count. Get that a gas. Tank's empty. All right, run it as far as you can on fumes and then ditch it. Take some grenades. What kind of name is Oberon? It's from Shakespeare. You ever heard of him? Yeah. What kind of a name is Shirl? It's short for Shirley. Shirley? Yes, Shirley. Don't get me wrong. I love the name Shirley. In fact, it's my mother's name. Is that what you think? Marching up through enemy lines. There's no danger there. Yeah, well, it seems like the right thing to do. We die trying. Yeah, maybe. Of course, if someone had killed a bunch of innocent women and children, this might be a real great way to make up for it, right? Is that what your little Bible tells you? Huh? Is this your penance? You know what? Here. What? Take it. I can get another one. I don't want your book. Really? Because with all your questions, you seem awful curious. Get back information. The cooler block is total overheated. Einfach mit Schnee abkühlen. Let's take them. Or not. We lay low. Keep moving. That's good thinking, Kendrick. What are we about a mile from Longen? Sounds about right. All right. Sun's starting to peek through. Let's go, boys. How you doing? All right. You know, this really is beautiful country. Yeah, I knew you liked her. I think I want to learn French. Oh, 
gone. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. Now. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Should we still be involved? Go to hell, Ghoul. Now! You go! Are you too worried about saving your own skin? No, oh, Ghoul. No, you're not going anywhere. Mr. Deacon! Deke! Shot out here. We need to find a place I can work on him. Can he move? Yes. Yes, I can move. All right, follow me. Okay. Deacon, uh, I need your help. Put your fingers in here. Pry open the wound. Push the muscle aside. Okay. Okay. It's all right now. Go. Doing right. Doing good. Okay. Open my father. I'm trying. Come on. Almost there, man. I got it. That's it. That's it. All right. You're gonna be fine. What's done? What's done? Hang in there, Willie. You're not gonna bleed to death. Stop it up. Take it to an aid station. Shh. Hang on, hang on. Who will be here in a 
second, just hang on. Help! Just hang on. Hang on. Secret? Where's Kendrick? Kendrick's dead. Ihr da drüben. Die Schlüssel stecken im Fahrzeug. Nehmt euch, was ihr wollt. Gott sei mit euch. Gott sei mit euch. We gotta get these clothes off. What now? I don't know. How's your German? All right. The German line's about a half mile up that way. This road will take us straight through the clearing. Our boys are dug in on the other side. We ready? Yeah, we'll get Winley through. Save some lives. That's the idea. Hey. I didn't sign up. I tried to dodge the draft. And my father came and found me. Was that your big secret? <laughs> she get that one in. D 
diese Straße oben und links dann 500 Meter geradeaus. Kann man es nicht verpassen. Vielen Dank. Hey, warst du nicht mit mir in der Grundausbildung? Wie heißt du nochmal? Alles schon wieder! Kannst du an Schieben helfen? Ja, klar. Hey, ihr beiden, fragt mal mit an. Hang on. Nein, biegen! Halt! Go, go, go! What's going on? Can't tell. I think they're trying to make a push. I get the sergeant on the radio. Let's see. Foxtrot 29 are calling Foxtrot 02. We got a Jeep coming from out of nowhere. Over. Out. Yeah, that's one of our Jeeps. But that's a Jerry flag on the hood. What are they trying to do? I don't know what you got in mind, Jerry. But it ain't gonna happen. The flag! Now! Get it! Two crowds coming in right there. Each other. You know what? I think those boys are ours. Let's give them some cover fire. Cover fire! Into the trees on me! I'm out! I'm out! Yeah. Oh. Oh. You take Winley and go and I'll cover you! I'm not gonna leave you! You go now! No! right behind you.
Save my life. <laughs>